there and welcome again to Cannon Fodder, the channel that gives you breaking news involving transfer of players coming in and out of AFC. So it's been uh, quite a few days since I did my last uh, Cannon Fodder instalment and there's quite a few uh, players that I'm, I do want to talk about but I'm just going to focus on just two players. So the first player is um, Eva uh, Banega who is a Seville uh, Argentine uh, midfielder and never player who's linked to Unai Emery because of Unai's previous, um, you say, uh, managerial position at Sevilla. This guy, I saw the match of Argentina uh, versus uh, Nigeria. If there's any way, literally any way we can get this guy, if it is true that Arsenal are tracking him, let's pay whatever it's going to take to get this guy to come and sign for Arsenal. He... <laughs> He's tough in the tackle. He's a you know good dribbler, good pass of the ball. So I would see um, Banega as someone playing who could play alongside um, Shaka. The only sticking point, according to the outlets, is that um, Arsenal are tracking him, but Banega's family do not want to move from Sevilla in Spain. They would stay. They prefer to stay in Sevilla, and they do not want to move to London. Now, family is very, very important. But if there's any way that Arsenal can get the monies together and pay for Benega or talk to him and convince his family to come over, because, yeah, you know, watching him play and uh, for Argentina last night, this guy is a wicked player. Wicked. Again, you know, tough in the tackle, you know, a good pass with the ball, he's got good vision. Uh, would I say he's similar to Shaka? Not really. Only because this guy, literally, he knows when to tackle and when not to jump in. But, um, yeah. Yeah, the only sticking point is Banega's family. Now, the other player that we've been linked to, and I'm, I'm a little bit late on talking about this player, is um, Alexander um, Golovin, who's a Russian international, and he had quite an impressive start to the World Cup. So, of course, you know, lots of players on the World Cup stage trying to um, have themselves, could be on, on show, um, looking maybe for the next um, big club or the next big move in their career. Um, yeah, so again, coming out from the, um, the outlets or, I see, the mirror, they're saying that um, Arsenal, again, have been tracking him. However, there's another club that's joined the race to sign um, Golovin, and that is Barcelona. Imagine. So Barcelona have their scouts in Russia just checking to see his progress throughout the World Cup. So can we challenge Barcelona to buy um, Golovin? No, we can't. But he's a midfielder. Do we need to buy any more midfielders unless it's going to be in the style of an enforcer. So, I wouldn't mind if we didn't buy uh, Alexander um, uh, Golovin. So, um, but you know, I'll keep an eye. I'll keep an eye on that one. And the last player, or the last, well, the last bit of information on transfer news is a player called, just bear me a second. His name is uh, Miguel uh, Laun, who is Mexican. He's a defense def, def, defender who's both footed. Now I don't know whether to believe it or not because it's a bit weird. That, it's a bit weird that this guy has just been talked about, you know, just randomly. Um, do I believe it? No, I don't. I don't believe. I think you know. We know literally. There's no Premiership matches. We're just watching the World Cup, and I think sometimes. Only sometimes outlets, reporters and what have you will kind of concoct and make up stories just for the sake of selling papers. I've seen him play. He's a wide man. Um, again, you know, he's both footed. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, this, this player, I mean, if there are any further um, updates, I would definitely, definitely keep you guys informed but this has been cannon fodder 
breaking news.